Hello there everybody, it's Verity here from IndieButterfly.wordpress.com Thank you so much for joining me again today for another card making tutorial and it's Monday, which means Monday colour challenge Okay, so uh, every Monday I'm, I'm doing this little little sort of series if you like um, This is just for fun, little post that goes out um, into one of the Facebook forums I'm a member of and uh, yeah, so so this is this is the challenge this week. A uh, bit of an odd one, isn't it? Um, so Knight of Navy and Mary Merlot are in the uh, neutrals collection. These sort of deep dark colours, and then uh, we've chucked in Pacific Point. Now all of these colours are beautiful <laughs> individually, and we've worked out a way of bringing them together. We have worked with these two before, doing something uh, something different. So, what was I going to do? So, I thought, um, I was kind of planning ahead because I knew, obviously, that every Monday this challenge is going to come out. And I decided that whatever comes out of the um, the, the dip, if you like, uh, I was going to use watercolour shapes. Okay, so that's that. I sort of boxed myself in and went, right, whatever comes out, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so... This is what I came up with. I actually quite like them. I thought, I think they've come out really cute. Okay, so just a very, very simple um, pattern building with using all three colours. So just picking out two of the colours and using the third for the card base and the sentiments. So that's what I've done for every single one of them. Okay, so the Knight of Navy is in the background and the sentiment on this one, Mirror Merlot, Pacific Point, etc. So that was that was dead easy to do. A uh, bit of white on white layering with a bit of inking. So we're going to do um, something similar uh, and replicate those. So I've got stuff everywhere. So let me just find a landing spot for those. That's probably not a good landing spot. Over there, that'll do. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Literally, you could, you could see the carnage that is on my desk right now. So... I'm going to bring in some um, scrap paper to work on. I've already cut my card bases, so I've got one of each there in the three colours. And I've got the the white layers I'm going to um, put the stamped bits onto. Are a little bit smaller than normal, uh, just by an eighth of an inch. So three and seven eighths of an inch. Three and seven eighths by... Uh, Five and five eighths of an inch is what those are. So, um, in fact, do you know what? No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I'm going to uh, run around the edges of those um, now so that the ink dries. Okay. So, no, it's not this one I want to go around. I'm trying to be prepared, and I'm not not succeeding. <laughs> It's quite that. So that's those. And then these uh, layers are smaller again, which we're going to do our stamping on. So instead of doing the rectangles, I've pulled out one of the little little squares. I've got no idea how I'm going to do this yet. I'm, I'm literally going to work it out with you guys. So we'll take a pair of the colours. So we'll start with the blues, shall we? And we'll use Night of Navy first. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of just do a bit of a, a random kind of pattern down there. Leave a gap for some Pacific Point ones. In fact, three might be enough. Let, let's stick with three and see what happens when we add the Pacific Point. like tapping on the ink pad I'm going to twist that round actually I probably should have done that with the other ones because that um they're designed to obviously to look like watercolor shapes so they aren't solid images giving you this um this nice quirky look okay so that's really really fun I think I might take one the edge here I think and then down the bottom I'll bring in another Knight of Navy one off the edge I think down here okay 
feel like there's a gap there. So, slot one in there. So there we are. Okay, it's looking good. Looking good. And I think we just need a slither of something up there. Right. Brilliant. So of course, um, I've done that down the left hand side, as that's just how I've stamped it. Um, but I think you can. Um, we could easily turn it round and have it the other way around. In fact, we might do that. Or not. I don't know. I think it looks it looks better down the left, personally. Okay. So that's all we're going to do. We're just going to mismatch and um, do all that so let's take out the Knight of Navy and add in the Merry Merlo and we'll do the same on a different piece of card okay so again I'm not going to like um going to sort of mirror it but not be too um fussy about it I'm just trying to twist the stamp a little bit more on this one just to give it a bit of a different look yeah it's a really nice sort of random just fun don't think too hard about it kind of um card really just gonna make sure that's not going over on my to that blue. Sometimes when you've got um excess ink on your background there, um your stamp can pick it up a little bit. So I didn't want it to do that, so just moving it out of the way. One in there. So just trying to move them around and um not have them in a line per se. Yeah, although that one looks a little bit too lined up to me, but uh, it is on the original as well. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> and we definitely need something in this corner. Let's move it round that way. Just realised I'm a bit low on the um, camera. I'm just getting all carried away. Okay. Oh, inky already, look at that. I tell you, I am, um, it seems to be always blue that gets me, I don't know. It just always seems to be the way. I'm just going to give that a good clean off. So now we're going to have, what are we going to have now? We're going to have Merry Merlot and Knight of Navy, are we? Yeah, take out the Pacific Point. Add the Navy back in. And again, I've tried to start with the different colours as well. Um, some of the, my ink pads are starting to get to the point where they might need re-inking as well. Um, some of them I've had, um, in fact it's almost my sixth Stamping Up anniversary, which I completely forgot about. Um, and I had um, something come through in the post and I was like, it's not my stamp anniversary and I'm like, oh yeah it is <laughs> I can't believe it's June already I really can't it just seems to have gone very fast this year and at the, time, at the same time, all so slowly you know, with all the you know, all the virus stuff it does make Everything's just a bit weird, isn't it? Right, let's go in with these. And fill in the gaps, kind of. So, what we're doing. And each one's going to turn out differently. Um. 
which is fun. It's all part of the fun. Sorry, did you hear my brain stop and start thinking then? Did you hear it? Um, cool. Okay, so the, the whole point of this was just to make this real fun, quick kind of backgrounds, okay? So there was literally no real thought going into into those at all. It probably shows. <laughs> anyway. Right, ink pads away just for a minute before um, I get into more of a mess with those. So as I was saying, um, we want to ink around the edge. So because we're going to layer these onto white, could do could just do white on white layering which is absolutely fine but I just wanted to define it a little bit so I've taken <clears throat> you know like I said the uh, so this one's Merlot and P Pacific Point so for this one I'm going to go around with Knight of Navy um, and I'm going to use the little um, stamp and write markers for that so I'm going to use the brush tip you can use the ink pad if you're very careful you can use Stampin, uh, Stampin Blends markers as well for this. So whatever you've got to hand, uh, use an ink pad and um, a little sponge dauber or just gently go into the... Um, so that's the night of night. In fact, shall I show you the different way? So you can do it with a marker. So that's that one done. So the edges of that are just going to be a little bit wet to start off with, which is why I was trying to think about um, doing it ahead of time. That was that was my, my thinking on that. This one's going to be Merry Merlot. Now, we don't have a... Um, what do you call it? Stampin' Blend for that. So if you, if you want to use your ink pad, open your ink pad. Uh, your ink pad surface is very delicate so just just go easy but you can just sort of dip well it's not even dipping it it's just touching the edge of the cardstock against your ink pad okay uh, it's quite hard to show on camera that the um the ink is there but um it is okay so i don't know whether i don't know whether the camera catches it really to be honest but when you put it against um the white you can definitely see that there's a there's a line there to define that edge okay so that that's um so you can use the stamp and write markers you can use an ink pad or oh, i should have used the uh, knight of navy for a thingy but um you can also use the blend in the same way as the um as the Stampin' Right Marker. So again, with this one, with the Stampin' Blend, you've got a brush tip and you can just run those along the, the edge. Okay, so again, there's no specific point for that one. So I'm going to go back to my Stampin' Right Marker for that. And the other th other top tip there is um, to... I seem to have got a blob on there from somewhere. Is to um, hold the pen, obviously in your dominant hand, but... Um, uh, have the back of your cardstock facing it so that if you slip um, you will mark the back of your card rather than the front okay so if you're going to slip you're going to come down the front yeah so I hope that's sort of coming through on the camera when not I'm in shot it's, it's quite hard to You saw that okay we're there so the edges are done so we want to stamp our sentiment next and I'm just going to bring in a scrap of basic white cardstock we're going to use all three of our inks again so the first one on the pile is Mary Merlot and I'm bringing in this set the biggest wish this is fab <laughs> I just love it so much we can do with this it's it's really really phenomenal and um, so we're, we're doing happy birthday i've already got the stamps um mounted up onto h blocks h blocks are super duper for sentiments okay so um we're going to start with the birthday 
the big blocky one you could switch it round you could use it you could do happy in um the blocky uh text if you want and then have the scripty birthday whatever you want um i do need some scrap paper because i want to stamp off okay so this image is going to be lighter by a bit okay so get that stamped down and lift it up okay so you get this lovely um lighter image and then the scripty text of the happy we're going to use full strength ink on and line that up over the top of there okay if you wanted to you could put this into a stamper artist and go over it a couple of times just to intensify the um the color i'm just leaving it as it is so that's our merry merlot version okay so we're just going to go through and repeat that with all three colours. So we'll do Knight of Navy next. So exactly the same process. I'm just making sure this is um, clean. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Inking this up. Light tapping. Taking the top layer of ink off onto some scrap paper. And bringing it to stuck nice firm pressure okay and then we'll switch and bring in the happy and just go in that with the full strength ink okay give those another clean and we just go to that once more um, Pacific Point. So this is really nice and easy to do. Um, nothing overly complicated. So I'm going to be die cutting these with a circle. If you haven't got a die cut machine, um, you could um, just use a trimmer and um, cut these down. Um, just into sort of a simple rectangle. Tried a, a few different dies um, to see what would fit round um, this quite large sentiment, and the the circles came out as the, the best option there. Okay, so all we're going to do is bring in our um, circle dies. So these carry have carried over the layering circle. So I keep mine in a, a stamp case with some magnetic um, inserts, okay? And I found that this one, the um, was a nice fit. So it's not the largest; it's the second largest one. You are going to want to put a little bit of tape over there because you don't want it to sort of end up. Um, not centred uh, and that's why I put it in between these two because that one should just about fit in there okay so just be mindful of your spacing when you're doing uh, lots of images on um, one piece of cardstock so I'm just going to run those through it's not going to take very long simple shapes are just very easy um, to die cut through I'm just using my stamping cut and boss here So if we just peel that away from the cardstock, uh, sometimes your tape will um, cut through, it's just the pressure of it all, um, okay, and you get this really, really nice um, die cut, okay, so we can now reposition this over one of the other ones, and then slide that one through. We don't have any circle punches anymore um, in the catalogue. We just have the dies. So they are worthwhile um, 
getting if you've got a die cut machine already and if you haven't got a die cut machine already well stamping cut and emboss is lovely to use very very easy and all the instructions are actually on the the plates of the machine you can't go wrong you can um, not only die cut with it but you can also use embossing folders um, and 3d embossing folders so we've got we, we carry both of those and you just lay out your sandwich up um, with your platforms exactly as it says on your base platform it's all there written down for you um, what you what you need to do each of those things okay and we are anticipating hopefully getting a magnetic um, cutting plate for them as well so that's very exciting something um, I'm looking forward to getting Right, just turning those over so we can get some dimensionals onto the back of those and then all we need to do is put things together okay so the, i think this makes quite a nice guy card because it's obviously not flowery or anything it's just very um just a very geometric um card so i'm just going to bring in those layers now because i just wanted those edges to to dry off and we are going to do some simple layering. Just going to check that they're all the same size. Yep, they are. So let's get those all layered up. Just going to use some stamp and seal. Let's get that started. And get them just layered up onto some white. And you can see that. Um, just that little bit of ink around the edge just just lifts it slightly from from that car base okay uh, yeah card layer all right so that's another tip but uh, completely optional if you don't want to do it you don't have to do it like a lot of these things you know I'm, I'm giving you just some serving suggestions on how you could do stuff Um, but you put your flair on it okay change the colours I mean I'm obviously participating in a colour challenge which is why I've chosen these colours I'm not sure if these are the colours I'd have necessarily um, chosen per se but that's what I'm working with okay um, I could see this working quite nicely with almost like a rainbow design that'd be cute down the side wouldn't it Obviously it depends how many colours you've got in your arsenal. So this one, so we've got all our car bases here. So let's do this one is Mary Merlot. So we'll do that. So remember I'm, I'm aiming to do the um, the third colour. It's going to be my card base and my sentiment. Okay, so that's, that's the plan. Okay. I've got the two blues, so I know I need the Merry Merlin on there. Give that a crease. And then we can add the appropriate sentiments. Okay. And then, hoo -hoo, then there's decisions on where that goes. Um, so I did find with my other one, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm covering up kind of all the funky layering you know as uh, so this one will be light of navy so I'll bring that one in So, so I should say that um, all the stuff that I'm using today is linked um, in the description 
So if you wanted to pop along to my Stamping Up store and you live in the UK, that one's going to get covered up. But hey ho. Still looks cute. But I think um, once the sentiment goes on, they kind of come together really. Um, if you're, um, yeah, so like I say, you can shop using the links in the description. Uh, there's a link also to the sort of just the main shop, not just the products I've used. So if you just scroll through, you'll see that there's a there's a general link to the shop front, if you like. And you can have a real good look around. Um, website's quite nice and easy to use. So if you're looking for stamp sets or dies or whatever, you can um, have a look in that um, in the categories on the left hand side for those there's um, a sale for the stuff that's going to be retiring from the mini catalogue as well so some of that um, some of those are up to 50% off so if you're looking for a bargain um, you can look there or in the clearance rack as well loads and loads to look for um, and then if you're getting anything close to spending £100, £99, just join. And then you'll get the extra product credit as well. Um, even if it's just to join and get, get the first starter kit and then not do anything else, you, you can save money that way too. Okay, there's the three cards using the square image, uh, but um, all three colours. Um, so I think it does look really really cute like that um, I think I prefer the um, little oblongs there but there are um, other color, other shapes in there as well so there's a circle that we could have used uh, we probably could have done something with the different sized shapes as well so there's a couple of squares for example there's three rectangles so we could have mixed and matched them and overlapped them and all sorts and and do some interesting things but I was just trying to keep it simple um for today I hope you've um liked them I'm just going to put the the navy ones to the top and uh, just so you can see them side by side there yeah cool nice quick easy thanks so much for joining me again today my little ramblings and uh I hope you're having a Good week it's going to be hot in the uk i don't know about you so um take care everybody do stay safe out there and i'll catch you again soon take care bye